Imperial India, the empire upon which the sun was never meant to set, but it did, leaving thousands of dispossessed Maharajas behind. These once fabulously wealthy kings were left to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives. So how did they survive? I know. Benson! <laughs> yes! Say to our guest, would you? Simple, you're right there. Why can't you? No, right, fine, fine. You're obviously too busy. God, whether they have a band, sutty. <laughs> yes? I need a room. Double bed, decent bathroom. Not one of your grubby little Indian toilets. And you'll need to take my bags up. <laughs> hey? <laughs> Last in the line of a 600-year-old dynasty. I have to deal with package tours from Guildford. I do apologize for my husband. He hasn't been the same since the Congress party removed his executive authority in regional government. <laughs> my bags? Yes, all right, I'll take your bags and wash your socks and clean your bottom. Mother in law! Take these bags to room seven. Keep. <laughs> Take the, oh. I'm so sorry, he's from Jalanda. <laughs> this guest, this bags, this smack on head. <laughs> Excuse me, does my room have a view? Well, there's the desert. <laughs> That's not very interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is Rajasthan. What were you expecting to see from a Rajasthan hotel window, hmm? Hanging gardens of Babylon, wildebeest sweeping majestically across the plains, cows wandering aimlessly in and out of traffic. Actually, you might see that last one. <laughs> You're doing it again. Well, he started it. I did not. Yes, you did. You invaded India. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Don't mention the empire. I said it once. Think I got away with it. Oh, this is outrageous. Oh, come on, come on. You'll like this. Who's this, then? Who's this? I don't know. It's your bleeding Queen Victoria. 